Hey guys, we've been hearing a lot about the new Moto X device. It's going to be announced tomorrow in New York. So I just wanted to make a quick roundup video and check out some of the specs and what it's going to be like. The latest rumor is it's going to include a nano SIM and this is uh, kind of annoying actually. You know, it's the same SIM card the iPhone 5 uses. So most other phones use a micro SIM. So if you do want this device, you'll probably have to get a new SIM card. It's just a smaller SIM card maybe to kind of, you know, make the device smaller, make it more compact and stuff like that. We scroll down here you can see some leaked images of the device and they compare it to the Mo Motorola Milestone 3 and this is the Milestone 3, this is the Moto X. You can just see how much thinner the Moto X is. It does look like a really thin device and thin devices are always nice because they're normally lighter and you know they just fit easier in your hand and in your pocket and stuff like that. So it does look like a really thin device. That's pretty awesome. The GSM Arena folks actually measured it out from these pictures and they came out with 8.7 millimeters at its thickest part and 5.8 millimeters at its thinnest that is pretty damn unreal that is very very thin they say it works out 125.9 millimeters tall and 65 millimeters wide and yeah it's a 4.7 inch display probably going to be 720p um not that much of a big deal really because you know 720p versus 1080p on a 4.7 inch screen you're really not going to notice much of a difference i'm sure the ppi will still be pretty good nonetheless let's move on uh, we'll just open this image here so you can see it. So that's just another comparison. And yeah, if we check out the internals now, they've got a dual core crate processor. Don't be discouraged by that it's not a quad core. You know, yes, it's not ridiculously high spec phone, but a dual core crate processor, I'm sure, will handle everything you throw at it, no problem. It's down to software optimization now more than anything. 10 megapixel camera with an unusual image sensor and I'll mention mention that in a minute and this is what really interests me 1080p at 60 frames per second we haven't seen any other device get those sort of fp that, that, that sort of frame rate at that sort of resolution so that's pretty exciting it'll be epically smooth 1080p so we'll have to wait and see with that and yeah if I flick over to this this is the uh, 1080p uh, 60 frames per second and this is the kind of camera sensor now it's not a normal camera sensor, but it's not as dramatic as, say, the HTC One's Ultra Pixel camera. If we look here, it's 10 megapixels and it uses the clear pixel camera with a pixel size of 1.4 microns. Now, if you read on, it just says this is larger than the Galaxy S4's 1.1, but not quite as big as the HTC One's 2. So it's going to be better than the Galaxy S4 in low light, but it's not going to be quite as good as the HTC One. Saying that it is 10 megapixels, so it's a lot higher than the HTC One's 4 megapixel. We'll have to wait and see how that camera turns out. It could be really interesting. We'll have to wait and see. And like I said, I am excited about the 1080p at 60 frames per second. No other device has done that. Normally, if I have like a camcorder that records at 60 frames per second at 1080p, the files are absolutely huge. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But yeah, now in terms of what I think about the device from what I've seen, it looks like a really nice device and if I uh, kind of find the image I'm looking for here here we go you can see the official press shots I think it looks actually really really cool it's got that nice little curve it looks like Motorola are gonna come back with this obviously since Google kind of bought them out and you can also see it's pretty much using stock Android but it's not really using stock Android there will be some kind of skin over it as far as I'm concerned because the camera looks a little bit different from the leaks but yeah, I think the phone looks really nice. It's not ridiculously high spec. It's not the highest spec phone you're going to get. It doesn't have a Snapdragon 800 processor or anything like that. But it's not all about the inter it's not all about the, you know, pure pure raw CPU and GPU speed. We'll have to wait and see what the software does. It looks like it's going to be a really nice device and I'm quite excited about this camera. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. We'll find out officially tomorrow so there's not long to wait. Yeah. Peace out.